Hi everybody, welcome back to Idiots in Cars. Let's start off with number 19. Look at this idiot. Well, I mean, if you're running from the cops, it's already kind of an Idiots in Cars moment right there. But also, I suppose, hitting a truck and then flooring it through a field into a building is is another Idiots in Cars moment. What, what exactly were they thinking they were going to accomplish in doing it? Oh, they'll never guess that after I hit this truck, I'm just gonna floor it through there. They'll keep going, they won't have seen me turn off to the side, and then I'll be inside the building that I've just driven through. Oh wait, I just stopped at the wall, shoot. Why do they have to construct this building so well? I would have been perfectly hidden inside. If only the building, the wall, had just opened up for me. God dang it. Fooled again. He decided he was such a horrible driver, he would just turn himself into the police. Okay, just casually driving on the wrong side of the road, no big deal. I actually have a, a fear that if I ever traveled to the UK and drove, I would forget and I would end up on the wrong side of the road until someone was coming straight towards me. I'd be like, oh God, I'm just, oh frick. Okay, I'll move back over. Jeez, that was almost a head on collision. God, I hope that would never happen, but anyway. Surely at this point, when you're seeing other cars and you have someone trailing you, that you would notice, oh yeah, right, I should, that's the wrong, no, okay, cool, no, they're just like, I'm definitely on the proper side of the road here. Everyone else is wrong. I'm in the UK right now. Why do all these people, uh, why are all they, they, they're driving on the wrong side of the road? Officer, hello, hello, officer, do you see all of these idiots? Everybody's driving on the wrong side of the road. Officer, you gotta help me here. Everybody's crazy, it's not just me. Officer, why are you putting me in handcuffs? I didn't do anything wrong, officer. What? I'm in the United States. Oh shoot, I forgot. Massachusetts Road, not meant for wheelies on motorcycles. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, it needs a car. Okay, great, nice. Yeah, that road was perfectly fine. I don't know what you're talking about. That was, that was rider error. <laughs> he didn't hit a pothole or anything like that. It was just a, a poorly executed wheelie. And then, and then he just is like, yeah, I might have hit a car there, but I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going and not leave a note or anything, so that when they come back to their car, they'll be like, what, what the heck happened to my tail light? Why is my tail light broken? Somebody's knee hit it. <laughs> Man, I'm actually impressed he's able to just get back on the bike because that probably did not feel very good. But not leaving a note. S M H my head. SMH my head. I'm very upset about this. Don't even know what to say about this one. All right, going around the person who's trying to make a left turn, which you'd think they'd just make the left turn, but oh, maybe it's like clogged in the driveway they're trying to pull into, but now they're like, I'll just obstruct the road while I make the turn. And then, oh, and now the person's trying to reverse out of the same driveway you're turning into, which is great. And now the Mercedes is like, this is awesome. I'm never getting around here. Okay, cool. Just wait a little bit. And now you're like, okay, how am I gonna get around? Cause there's a car coming the other way. And then there's a big truck behind me. And I can't tell if the Mercedes just backed into the truck with the dash cam. Um, and now they're probably kind of upset. Can, hey, can, is now, now there's a truck coming out of the driveway. Okay, are you gonna wait? Is the Mercedes gonna go around or then the, nope, then the Ford is gonna make, they're gonna try to make the left turn, right? They're only gonna make the left turn when the Mercedes is trying to go. Are they trying to do insurance fraud here? Are they trying to hit the Mercedes but make it look like it's the Mercedes fault so they can pull an insurance scam? I can't tell if that's what's going on or if it's just the thing where two people walk up against each other in opposite directions on the sidewalk and you keep moving to the same side and you can't get around each other. That must, that could be what's going on here as well. The truck is like, I wanna go too. And now the Mercedes is like, please don't back into me. Please don't back into me. Please don't back into me. Please, please notice that I'm gonna go. Please notice that I'm going. Like the Mercedes is petrified that the Ford is gonna back into it and just like, okay, back into me and he made it. I feel a great sense of relief for the Mercedes driver there. Jeep driver causes a car accident and then flees the scene. Je oh, that's quite bad. That's quite not good. And then they're just like, I didn't technically hit anything. So I'm gonna go now. Looks like they might've gotten hurt, but you know, I'll I'll be hurt in the bank account if I stop and try to help the the people who are physically hurt. So I'll just just gonna go and uh, because I didn't hit anything. So it's not actually my fault because like 
I didn't hit them. So, and they didn't hit me. They just went and drove into a telephone pole. Like they didn't have to do that. So I'm gonna, gonna go now. Also, this looks like it could have been in, in LA based on my GeoGuessr uh, detective skills and stuff like cheese. Yeah, that's kind of terrifying. Hopefully they're good. You shouldn't be in the left lane if you're gonna drive so dang slow, one of my pet peeves. Well, may I recommend never coming to Southern California then, because I'm fairly certain that 90% of the drivers on the road do not realize that the left lane is supposed to be a passing lane. I would actually guess that the fastest lane by average speed, when there's not like bumper to bumper traffic, at least, is the second lane from the left, uh, because there usually is somebody holding up the left lane, just driving in it slower than the flow of traffic. It's kind of just the norm. <laughs> kind of just is how it is. So yeah, just if you don't want your blood to boil, probably, probably stay away from driving around these parts. <laughs> I'm not just an idiot, but I am an idiot with a friend who's also stuck. I always wonder how, car oh, it's not the beach. I was gonna say, I always wonder how cars end up on the beach because I'm pretty sure you're not really supposed to drive on the beach, but um, it's just, it's the desert. It's a very deep sandy desert. Man, I um, guess you don't have to worry about like the salt water and stuff corroding the underside of your car. So maybe it's better to, drive in the sand there than it would be uh, at the beach. But, so you're both stuck. The car that tried to pull out the first car, um, you're both, that's gonna be rough. Those are, you know, big heavy four wheel drive cars with, with big old tires that are meant for that, I assume. So, it's gonna be rough to pull you guys out. <laughs> you're gonna, gonna need an even bigger rescue vehicle. All right, that's a bummer. Three idiots road rage and exchange a volley of a gunfire is probably gonna be a skip if we want this video to stay on YouTube. I don't know if I can say that word without being demonetized. So uh, watering a Land Rover, so it grows nice and big. Are you driving it underwater? Basically. Oh yeah, no, the, good. Good that you're using the windshield wipers, because um, otherwise you might get water sticking on the windshield more than it's supposed to. What are you, is this like an emergency rescue vehicle? Is, do you not have a choice? Is this kind of just, I mean, it does have a lot of like, looks like communications devices and stuff. So maybe it's a rescue vehicle and they're filming themselves rescuing someone, in which case, I mean, that's commendable. It kind of, it like is what it is. And maybe it's equipped with a snorkel or something, which probably wouldn't prevent water from going into the cabin. So I'm gonna, maybe this isn't really an idiots in cars moment. Maybe this is actually somebody trying to help somebody who's stuck in a flood and it's part of the job and they're, they're doing something good for other people. I'm gonna hope it's actually that. How? All right, are they gonna, are they gonna go? No? Oh, okay. Yeah, are you just, and you're... And I'm sure that the person in the car is like, that's your fault. You you turned into me even though you stopped before I hit you on the wrong side of the street. But it's, it's your fault. It's definitely your fault. You just appeared out of nowhere, and it's actually illegal for you to appear out of nowhere on people. You just, you actually just like materialized there. It was crazy. And if you possess materialization powers, you're not supposed to just pop in front of people on the road. So um, that's your fault. It's party foul. You can't do that. And um, you owe me money now. So, yep. Illegal passer gets instant karma. And then there's gonna be a very convenient cop. I'm pretty sure that's a subreddit, convenient cop. Is a cop about to pull a pass? Because I don't know where else they would actually, you know, see that the person's done an illegal pass. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. Oh, oh, here comes another. Oh, they're just going for illegal passes all over the place here on a nice residential street. Yeah, no, that's that's where you got to drive fast. Wait. Hold on. Is the cop with or the cop is the one with the dash cam here? <laughs> oh, oh, it's called live on patrol. Subscribe. Wait, did you just, did you just illegally pass a police officer? <laughs> and then the police officer, they weren't actually gonna pull you over until you then pass the next person. 
You passed the police officer and you passed another person in front of the police officer? <laughs> what are you doing? What in the world are you doing? I don't know, it's, maybe it's like just is an undercover vehicle that doesn't really look like, but it has sirens on, you passed a car with sirens on. What, who would? All right, that's, that's, I don't get that one. No, I don't understand at all, but all, all right. Sometimes they just serve themselves up, I guess. Two idiots on the road. All right, we got a little zooming action through a narrow tunnel. Tunnels are very exciting though. Man, okay, why, wait, why are you? You had, literally is no one in front of you and you're just gonna like cut the person off. Okay, and then the person you cut off is immediately just gonna, oh God. Okay, you both suck. I was initially gonna have empathy with the person who got cut off until they just decided to like put somebody into a wall. Okay, Jesus, man. <laughs> Calm down a bit. I know the other person was being an idiot, but you don't have to kill them. Good Lord. Also, where can I find this tunnel? Like, cause tunnels are really cool cause you can make the exhaust go loud noise room room. And that's, I like that. Wait, why just, why did you have to turn right in front of the person? You know it in front of you. You could have cleared them a little bit. Like my God, Jesus. Oh, uh, maybe the person in the white just sped up. There is this really weird phenomena where, you know, you try to like pass somebody, someone is driving slow in the left lane to do a callback and you're like, okay, I guess I'll just go into the second of the left lane to go around you. And as soon as you do that, they speed up. They're like, no, you won't pass me. I will set the speed limit in this lane and you dare not get in front of me. This is my lane. How dare you try to pass me? Go faster than me? You will not do that. God, people on freaking canyon roads who drive by 50 turnouts and they're going like 10 miles an hour under the speed limit and they have a line of 10 cars behind them all on their bumper and they won't pull over because they're an idiot and they are aware of the situation a hundred percent and they get a kick out of it they love holding up lines of cars it's like a simple bit of joy for them in their day-to-day -day life because nothing else brings them joy. And then, ooh, it's so frustrating. It's actually illegal to hold up like more than three cars behind you on a road with turnouts. It's not allowed and they do it anyway and they're, ooh, okay, anyway. Causing more damage than the actual floods. What? Oh, they're, they're, Driving through the, what? You're driving through the flood, creating a tsunami wake that's breaking windows and instead of not doing it, you pull out the camera to film you, just damage it, breaking every, why? Why are you doing this? What the? Are they just griefing? Is it the whole idea? Just haha, -ha, let's go break everybody's windows? What? Why are you like telling the driver? Why are you like, they're in the bed of a pickup truck. Why are you like, stop? Stop, you're breaking everybody's stuff. All the windows are cracking. Water's very heavy and has a lot of force behind it. You're shattering everybody. What the frick? Everybody was like, oh, thank goodness. My store is still relative. It's just the water damage. I don't have to replace the glass. That didn't break. Surprise, but wait, the glass is broken now. Why did that happen? There hasn't been any more rain. And then somebody posts a video like this. What? Ooh, what I'm so mad. Other drivers said I hit him. Technically true, but seriously, what was thinking? What was thinking, indeed? Okay, waiting, waiting. All right, oh, there we go. Oh yeah, always, always sick plays to uh, make a left turn from the right lane. Also, uh, was there a driveway? Like, were they trying to turn into a driveway? There they're, oh, okay, there kind of was a driveway. They just like overshot the driveway a little bit, but they were gonna do a bit of a, like an almost a three quarters of a U-turn and then and then yeah, curve into the driveway because they missed it. They were like, you know what? I actually do need gas and nobody else is driving on this road besides me. So I can kind of do whatever I want when I want. And so I'm just gonna go into here from the right lane um, because it would be, it's basically impossible for me to get gas for the next 50 miles if I if I miss this driveway, even though it's on a corner and there's another driveway if I just go to the light. But I can't do that because I just can't. Because that would be time that I don't have, so. 
No look illegal merge into the HOV lane. What could go wrong? Credit to my coworkers Tesla cams. Oh, this is 100%. This is LA. This is on the 405. I was about to comment from the title. Yep, there it is. That's the 405. Oh my god. I was I was literally about to comment that this is a thing that has become more and more prevalent since COVID is people and it's it's a, it's always no blinker. No blinker over the double yellow into the carpool lane is just a normal thing now. Everyone just treats it as like a lane that they can go in and out of whenever they want. Passenger, no passenger, just, and it's always no blinker. Nobody ever blinkers when they're going over the double yellow. It's like, they know it's wrong and so maybe they don't want to call attention to the fact that they are going, like, knowingly going over the line. It's like, whoa, I just happened to end up on the other side of this double yellow line. Ha, huh, I don't know how that happened. That's so weird. I didn't blink or I didn't mean to do it. I just, it just, I'm there. Whoa, I'm now on the other side. I just went back over to get to the right so I could pass the purse. I don't know, how did I just end up doing that? It's like my car did it on its own and it's just, uh, uh, it's just did, see, he didn't blinker. He didn't, they never blinker, dude. I didn't even realize it was this one didn't blinker, but like I said, they never blinker. They never blinker. That's wild that they straight up like flipped out of the pickup bed and the other person is also in the pickup bed. Good maybe that they had a, a an elevated landing platform moving at speed. <laughs> like, Jesus. Ugh, oh my God. Just got back from my morning jog, minding my own business, and suddenly, Florida man. Minding my own business. Nobody is behind me at this point. Truck comes flying up behind me. Almost sideswipes me. Oh, heck, the, uh, the, the pass on the right. I guess he wouldn't want to hit a tree. That would, that would be damaging. Okay, cool. So what's gonna happen here? Are they gonna... I've seen this move before. Is this a road rage move? Not getting near you? What? Is it an insurance scam again? What? Waves firearm? Huh? You did the illegal pass and then you wave a fi Why? What? They just like... Oh, they're gonna... They're gonna turn around. They're, he's making a U-turn, huh? He's gonna... What? Why? What? Is the whole point just to... What? I don't understand. He made the illegal move. The person with the dash cam didn't do anything other than exist. <laughs> the other person's like, I'm gonna wave a gun at them. Really, the whole idea was just to assert dominance over somebody. They had to assert dominance before they got home. Otherwise, they'd get home and they'd have all this like pent up testosterone and they wouldn't know what to do with it because they don't have a home gym to be able to throw weights around. And so they needed to get that freaking testosterone anger out by waving a gun. Oh, feel macho. What the f- Oh no, I saw this. I saw this just when I was browsing through Reddit and this hurt me personally. I'll tell you why after we see it, but it like actually, this one has me terrified of, of like future, my future like being just over in an instant because, okay, so they just, they just drive over, they just drive over the car. Yeah, no, and then they're just like, oh, that must be a big speed bump that I've just gone over. What? Well, they should, they should work on the roads here. Man, why do they have such massive mountains in the middle of the street? That's so weird. So, getting this car called a BAC Mono, it's a, a single seater open cockpit car. And I saw this and I was just like, oh, this is cool because if I was in that car in this situation, what would happen is a Ford Explorer would have driven uh, over my head, like, like directly on my head with a helmet on, but my neck wouldn't care too much about that. Uh, it, I would be dead. Just game over, oh, done right there. And I was like, okay, cool. So I'm gonna hope that doesn't happen because uh, what could you do? No way to prevent it. No way around it. You just watch as the car just drives over and then lights out. Uh-huh. At least on a motorbike, you can bail out of the way. Strapped in a six-point harness in a little single-seater? Can't, no, nope, can't do that. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, hopefully you don't read about that on the news with me in the next few years. 
And um, the top for the last month, guy takes 1,300 horsepower car in public streets, knowing the throttle sticks, then rides the brakes the entire time to compensate until they fail and he crashes. Bonus idiot point for not wearing the full seatbelts in 1,300 horsepower car. Language warning. Wait, I actually, I know the guy on the left. Uh, he owns a uh, car storage garage where I actually looked into storing a car before. And, um, okay, that's not, oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Did you? Oh, and they're, they just, did they, did they rear, they rear-ended a car. Just some, some person just sitting at a, at a red light. Just, just going through their day and then just, bam. Yeah, that's, that's a little irresponsible. So, he, knowing the throttle sticks, so it's literally just going on its own and then the brakes fail. I assume that he tried to, I assume that once it's stuck, he put it into neutral, but at that point he's just like, you can't stop. And so he basically like, they coasted into the car probably at however fast they were going. And uh, I guess they had harnesses. I'm assuming they had harnesses and they just weren't wearing that yet. Yeah, he has harnesses, but they weren't wearing the top of the harness. They were just wearing the lap belt. Oh dear. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, obviously, I feel the uh, most bad for the car that they rear-ended, um, but oof, yeah. That's no good. That's no good at all. Uh, okay, well, that's it for the last month of Idiots and Cars. Um, make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, and stay tuned for more stuff in the future. Hit the bell, turn on notifications, and I'll leave it off there. See you guys next time.